My name is Parker. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Southeastern Louisiana University where I studied communication. I graduated this past May and I'm a first year missionary with the Culture Project. So I was actually working with the on-campus student-run television station as a news reporter and a sports reporter. Um, and I was actually doing some pretty good work with that. I even um, like won a couple of awards like that. They have like these regional awards and stuff like that. So my boss at the at the television station was kind of like finding me jobs for like a reporter. We were like going to these conferences and stuff, and um, it kind of just got to a point where I kind of realized like this isn't necessarily what I always wanted to do. It was always something more that like I fell into in a way. Um, that I just kind of started taking these classes, kind of fell into this job, and people were saying, "Oh, you know, you're good at it," and you know, it was fun enough. So I just kind of kept rolling with it until finally. Um, it just kind of came to that, that crossroads where it's like, all right, now what are you gonna do with the rest of your life? You know, like you're about to graduate. Is this really what you wanna spend the rest of your life doing? Um, I just like couldn't honestly look at myself and be like, yeah, I'd be happy doing this. And I was just like juxtaposing like the two things and feeling like, um, like wow, like there's so much more joy and peace with like a more ministry setting than there is in this other setting. Like it was just kind of that thing of like, like here, like this is, this is fun enough and yeah, I'm kind of good at it and all that, but like, I'm not like at peace with it. I'm like not really like joyful doing it. Whereas like with this, like, man, I would do this any day of the week, you know? Um, and I think it was just that difference of just like, this is what I actually want to do. <laughs> yeah, we're about to watch Eric and Emily go give the parent talk. We're gonna go observe a couple of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily have like this like big like story necessarily. Like you hear some people, they might have like this big impressive story of like why they're here or something like that. It was really just this uh, captivation with, um, in a way like the beauty of love in a way and just like wanting other people to know about that um, and just wanting it to change their lives the same way that it changed mine really. What's going on? We are waiting uh, for the parents to get here for the parents talk. Uh, we just set up some chairs for them to sit in uh, to watch this wonderful presentation. Um, yeah, and now it's just up to them, waiting for them to come here so we can go ahead and tell them what we're all about. Whenever we were practicing our human dignity presentations, I was practicing with Emily. It was during a point where she was talking, maybe it was about human dignity or something like that. And I remember just like, being there in the moment and just like realizing what's happening because she was talking about like the dignity of every human person how they're worthy of love and respect and just like realizing that like this is what we get to do like it was it was, it was just weird it's like this surreal moment of like realizing like where i was and like what i was doing um because like up to that point it kind of become kind of just mechanical just kind of like oh yeah we practice this talk we're doing this hit on these points but like realizing that like for the next year or so we get to tell people that like they're good. Like we get to tell people that they have infinite worth. Like we get to tell people like how to actually like be happy and how to actually love in like authentic and real ways. Um, and it was just crazy to think that like here we are like practicing for that. Like I don't know. <laughs> like it was just insane. It was just insane. All right. Well, we just got back from Emily and Eric's parent talk. Um, and now I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna go call it a night. Uh, but thanks for watching, it's been a blast having you guys come with me uh, for my day. And uh, look forward to just continuing the conversation. Make sure you're following us on all the social media platforms. Um, love to hear from you. I am tired. <laughs> Mark, <are you? laughs> Was that too corny? Was that weird? <laughs> What are you showing me right now? What did you think, Genesis? I thought it was great. It showed his personality. He thought it was corny. I thought it was great. There's people who relate to that. There's a Parker who's going to look at Parker and be like, I see myself. I am. So it's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully. If you're a Parker out there, let me know. Uh, it's only out there. Not that many Parkers. We need to stick together. <laughs> Gosh, it's